Lexi, also known as Book Lion Queen, and today I will be doing my very first book review. I have been waiting so long to do this and now I finally have the chance, so I hope you guys enjoy. I received this book from NetGalley and the publisher Entangled Teen in exchange for an honest review, and that book is The Rules of Rebellion by Amity Hope. I gave this book 3.75 out of 5 stars. It was very close to being a 4 star read, but I will go into reasons later why it could not be a 4 star. So this is the non-spoiler section. I will tell you when it is time for the spoiler review. I will be reading the description from the publisher because theirs is much better than mine. Okay. 1. Skinny dip. Her idea. 2. Break someone. His idea. 3. Stargaze. Her idea. Four, kiss someone. His idea. Leo Zimmerman has had a crush on his curvy best friend, Kylie Jenkins, since forever. So, when he discovers the girl with a flair for baking has a newfound plan to rebel against her overbearing parents, he's determined to be the one to help her carry it out. Who better than a self-proclaimed rebel like himself to show her the ropes of letting loose? Sure, taking her, first, taking her to her first high school party, helping her sneak out of the house, or watching a sunset isn't really all that much of a hardship. But much harder is, making, is masking his feelings from the more time they spend together. And when he suggests adding Kiss a Boy to Kylie's plan and she accepts, suddenly, all his dreams are starting to come true. But Leo's got a secret that could change everything between them. It's only a matter of time before it comes to the surface. I thoroughly enjoyed this book. I had so much fun with the characters, especially Leo and Kylie, and her little sister Allie was really fun too. I just wish some of the side characters could have been a little more fleshed out from, for my liking. They were, they were a little dull for, for my personal reading taste. But that being said, I believe that there is a companion novel about one of her friends, Meg, and her boyfriend, Luke that will be that that is already out so maybe there's a little more flesh flesh out character development there i think that this is a good book for younger teens and preteens so i'd say preteen to like 15 and then older teens as well but i would specifically say the younger teens because it is very clean and i very much appreciate that there are things that are hinted at and it's still very cute and very romantic but it doesn't go into a whole lot of detail, if that makes any sense. So I would definitely recommend this for a younger audience and an audience that is sensitive to sexually explicit content. I, and I think that that is a very important aspect to mention. I really enjoy the way the anti-bullying side theme was done. It was done in a way that proves that there is hope after bullying and you can get through it and I really really appreciate that fact that the author decided to add that into her story. One problem I had with this book was that the side characters didn't get as much time on the page and this is a very short book it's 150 pages so it's to be expected that it's not going to be the most fleshed out thing in the world because it is very short but I would have liked to maybe have a smaller cast of characters and more fleshed out side characters, if that would have been better, or even a longer book. But overall, I really enjoyed it, and I will leave a link to all of the author pages in the description down below. I will also leave a link for the buy link, and there's a giveaway that the publishing company Entangled Teen is putting on. Yeah. Bye, non-spoiler people. I will see you as soon as you finish the book. I will be tackling the hard-hitting subjects first, and then I will go to the happier subjects. So the first subject I'm going to be tackling is Maddie, which is Kylie's sister, the one that had something bad happen to her, which is why her parents are so overbearing. I had a problem with some of the stuff that happened in this part for many reasons, and just because it was just such a bad thing to happen. It was so not necessary for him, for Mike Zimmerman to treat Maddie in a way that was just not nice and pretend to like her so that he could get what he wanted and conquer her 
and it's just very misogynistic and very just male chauvinist and it's gross but the fact that the parents didn't understand like that that Mike's parents and Leo's parents didn't understand that that was not okay and that they just continued on anyway and we're like oh it's not his fault he's that girl spun things out of control spun things out of context that's my problem with that because Maddie had a real time a real tough time for that with a real tough time going through that and to find that Someone's parents just don't care, and they treated the suspension that he got like a vacation. It just didn't sit well with me. And I don't think it would sit well with anyone, because that's just... Ugh. <sighs> but continuing on with the whole Mike Zimmerman thing, my one problem I had with Leo is he did not tell Kylie once he knew that his brother was the one that did that to Maddie. A lot of the problems could have been avoided had he just been honest and he knows that. I mean, we know that he mentions that in the end of the book, that he should have been honest, but there would have been so much less drama <laughs> had he just said something. <laughs> and it's not Kylie's fault or anything, but it's just frustrating because it's just like, oh. and it's not like it's Leo's fault for what his brother did, but he should have said something once he knew, as soon as he knew. He should have listened to his sister and just told her. She would have tried to understand. She would have. But thankfully it all worked oh, on to the rules of rebellion. So the first four, or the f four of them, the ones that, I, that stand out in my mind are skinny dipping, pranking someone, stargazing, and kissing someone. So skinny dipping, sort of, sort of. She doesn't really skinny dip. She sort of skinny dips. Which means undergarments or salon, which is like a bathing suit. But, you know, whatever you're comfortable with, sweetheart. Um, but they ended up doing that, and that was a really cute scene that he, um, he was just so shy and didn't, didn't listen to her and didn't look at her and did what he was supposed to and then just followed along with whatever she was comfortable with. And I really appreciate that because a lot of the times in YA contemporary, and just YA in general, people don't listen when you say no, and that is not a good premise to teach young children and to teach young lives in general and young adults and then pranking someone being her idea or his idea I can't remember whose but it was really funny that he orchestrated the whole thing that was really funny to me that he orchestrated it with Tyler to because Tyler knew <laughs> that he was gonna prank his house I thought it was really sweet that Leo went to all that trouble just so that she could mark the thing off over her list. And because he wanted, he wanted to. He wanted to make things special for her, but he also didn't want to, you know, get in actual trouble. <laughs> so it's really sweet that he did that. And then one of the, oh, the sweetest scene, the sweetest scene was when they were stargazing. And then they were, when they were watching the sunset. Like, those were all really cute scenes. Like, when they started stargazing and started talking to each other. And he starts revealing his feelings that he's had for years and years. And it's just so sweet. I love it. And then finally, when kissing someone. That was adorable. <laughs> because I don't know... Oh, yeah, that kid James. Okay, so she liked this kid James for, like, what? 20 pages of the book ish ish and so he thought that she was just doing it to check off her checklist and at first I think she actually was doing the stuff with Leo to check off boxes in her checklist but towards the end and towards in, I mean in the middle he she completely forgot about James I completely forgot about James until just this moment so <sighs> James Tanaka or whatever his name is I think that's his name James James whatever Anyway, she does no, not have a crush on him anymore, obviously, but it's really sweet to know that she kissed Leo, not to cross something off a bucket list, but to, because she really wanted to. She really wanted him and not just anybody. And I thought that, that was a super sweet mentality to have. It was a super sweet um, scene in general. 
So when everything finally hit the fan and Kylie's mom caught Leo and her at, their, at Kylie's job and caught them sneaking around, that didn't end up well for Kylie. But it also didn't end up well for Leo because then he ended up having all of this splaining to do. Which he should have done beforehand, as I mentioned earlier, so he kind of deserved it. But I can understand his frustration and his fear because of how upset she was when she was talking about what Mike did to her sister. And as anybody would be, anybody that has a sibling would be very upset with something like that happening to their sibling. But it all worked out, obviously, and they're going to the same city for college and they're gonna stick together, and it's gonna be super cute, and I love it. <laughs> but, anyway, overall, I enjoyed the book, and I hope you guys did too. Please tell me your thoughts in the comments down below, and um, if you don't already have the book, like I said to the non-spoiler people, enter in their giveaway down below. There's It's such a cute little sto contemporary story, and I really, really enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.